The first truth you have to understand is that the relationship between torque and speed in drills is inverse. As you increase speed, you decrease torque. When you drill in high speed, there's less torque available, and when you drill in low speed, you can access the most torque that the drill has to offer. When you change speeds, you're mechanically changing the internal gears. The gearing in a drill is what determines the speed and power your tool is going to output. When you're debating different models, torque and speed are the two primary numbers most consumers consider when shopping for these tools. And boy, do those big numbers look great on packaging. However, smaller numbers can actually be better. The case in point is Milwaukee's Gen 3 M18 fuel drill. There's plenty of energy stored to push to higher RPMs, but Milwaukee caps the RPMs knowing full well that competitors may perform faster on light load applications. They channel all that extra energy and power into additional torque at high speed. Now by doing this, you can drive larger bits in high speed. That ultimately lets you do more jobs in high speed. 